slow touch, brown and white. I can go country, grab and buy. We can go bust, eye for eye. We can lose trust, white rum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Abdul Aziz Aiman bin Dania. Metric number zero five four five five zero. Zip up, where you they go, go, we they go up Catch my vibe, let me go off Blam the trash, man it's so tough Alright yo, put the belly on the body, make a catch See no watch, now she wanna get hey, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Ashraf Hakim bin Muhammad Razali My metric number 055852 Crotch. Boy got peas, now she hopping in the pod Man a real life, sugar gal and my forget what When she want dark, told her meet me at the top Switching lens the other day, I seen her waiting for a bus Maybe this a month clear sweater, diesel denim Buying Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Ashim de Bermidoy My metric is number 054732 Ain't never want my pockets fight like ever Neck froze like I don't know no better Benzo truck, white seats and they leather Go broke never On my grind, she make it clap like I'm Busta Rhymes I got the juice, the sauce and all them things I blamed her twice a night with all my bling Big Benz, I drive, I brought that thing Any good Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Adib Aqua Bin Yin My matrix number is 055995 Yo, you want the world my thing Don't rush Slow touch, brown and white. I can go country, grab and buy. We can go bust, eye for eye. We can lose trust, white rum, fizzy pop. Where you they go, go, we they go up. Catch my vibe, let me go off. Climb the trash, man, it's so tough. Flood my eyes, make a whole blush. Back of the tour bus, getting cool up. D square, got on de stress, got a hand wash. My name is Muhammad Saki, Bencharunizar. And my metric number is 055917. Our English for communication one, natural. Madam Nur Naim Hafizah binti Ramli. And the subject code is PBI 10102. As you know, we have been assigned to create a sport team video. After planning what is the best topic from the video we have agreed to select a topic that is traditional sport in other countries so you not only will know about the traditional sport in Malaysia but you will also get information about traditional sport in other country in this video we have selected sport from other countries such as dragon bird from China Chongka from Malaysia itself, Koko from India, Karapan Sapi from Indonesia, and the last Sepatako from Thailand. The objective of this video is to introduce traditional sport in other countries to bring to mind the long forgotten even popular sport that once played and to give the public an awareness of the sport of tradition. For our sport theme video, I have chosen the tra traditional sport from the country of China. Uh, the reason I chose this sport is because personally I have been involved in dragon ball racing for quite a few years now. And I might say it is my passion. I love dragon ball racing. It's a competitive event that brings uh, sporting spirit to the next level. Okay, for a few information about Dragon Ball Racing. Dragon Ball is a human-powered watercraft originated from the region of China's southern Guangdong province. So that's common because it's from China. For the history of Dragon Ball Racing, similar to the use of outrigger canoes or Polynesian Va'a, that's uh, a type of Polynesian boat, Dragon Boat Racing has a rich background of ancient uh, ceremony, ritualistic and religious traditions. And thus, the modern competitive aspect is but one of small part of this complex Dragon Boat culture. As for the crew of Dragon Boat, in competitive racing event, there are usually three boats that are used. 
the 5 crew boat, the 12 crew boat, and the 22 crew boat. Each boat has their own drummer, paddler, and steerer, except for the 5 crew boat, which only have the paddlers and the steerer, and they don't have the drummer because the boat is too small and the drum can fit in there. Uh, each boat, each crew has to work as a team, as a whole, in order to win any racing event. Because if everybody works together, the boat will be faster and winning an event would be easily, I guess. Uh, if one member, if one crew mess up from the drummer to the paddlers to the steerer, all hell will break loose and we don't, we don't want that. As for racing event, modern dragon boat racing uh, organized by the International Dragon Boat Federation, which I personally know. They host many events in Malaysia and many competitions are held by them. A competitive race is typically a sprint event from the range of 200 meters, 500 and a thousand meters which from personal experience I might say is variable. You have to have high strength and determination in order to win that. <laughs> and I might add that Dragon Boat Racing is a very healthy lifestyle because you have to have uh, the dedication, the determination and the consistency. You have to dedicate yourself to this spot if you want to win anything and the determination to win plus the consistency of your training it must be very perfect uh, plus you have to watch what you eat and what you drink those are important uh, furthermore uh, I might say that Dragon Boat Racing is a very fun event that common people and well just say the community can get involved in uh, and for additional information our university UNISA also have a dragon boat crew and is searching for new crew members for anyone that is interested uh, yes I'm part of that crew so I'm not a captain but um, I'm in there so that's all for Dragon Boat. I hope this video is beneficial and informative to all of you. Thank you. Okay, my traditional sport, traditional sport is Chongka from Malaysia. Chongkak is a traditional Hindu game after play by boot bank. Most often, it use hole in the ground or hole in the ground and it usually used for marble or rubber. The story of Chongkak. Chongkak is believed to be from the African or Arab world from the Middle East. The game spread to Africa, Jongka spread to Asia to Arab traders. In South Asia, Jongka may develop from Malacca since it was on trading center. The name Cavalier is believed to come from the Malay word mental, which means mental calculation. Okay, the basic of the game. Chongka is involved counting. Those who have good eyesight have the advantage of collecting points and winning the game. Two players are needed and they are facing each other. To start the game, rubber or marble will be filled in each village equally and the house is left empty. In this game, player will start at the same time. They will take the pot and put them one by one each village heading to their home in a clockwise direction. 
so that one stopped at an empty hole and was pressure dead. If a player has met around past the mother hole and return to the other side of the player, he can take the fruit next to short opposite hole. If he dead on his own, this is known as short. Okay, how to make chongka? Chongka are usually made of forest wood, such as buffalo, square, balconies, and so on. This is also board made of rambutan wood, jet fruit, and so on, according to the ability of the maker of the copy. The most commonly used corn fruit are marrow, saga, plastic seed, pebbles, and rubber seed. However, the corn does not have a mix a fish shape anything that is round and suitable maybe rule of the jongka two players sit facing the board starting with the two players simultaneously reaching their respective village if the last fruit fall in the house itself the player can continue the game by picking picking up more fruit in his or her own village if the last fruits fall in the opponent at the village then the game is dead and the opponent can start the game until that Determination of victory, win side. Opponent has no fruit on each board. The winner is the player win to board or round. The opponent made three mistake or dumb the court. Which is the traditional game of India, which consists straight, such as cooperation, devotion, kidneys, self-esteem, speed, and quick thinking? Hmm. The answer is Coco. This traditional Indian game is more than a game. It is a personal development tool for the one who loves to take the challenge. One can clearly say Coco is an inexpensive but highest enjoyable game. The game is one of the most popular traditional sport in the country. Interesting fact about this game, the position of the player sitting is random. One will never find the same set of players sitting. In the same order as when the game starts. The game requires immense stamina and speed. There are many famous Coco players in India who have taken this game to another level. So, are you planning to know about this game? Why wait? Today I explain about this game to you. The Asian Coco Federation first came into existence in 1987 at the time of the third South Games in India. The Games gained international credit with first Asia Coco Championship which was held in Kolkata in 1997. The second championship was held in 2000 which added further shine to the game. The Deccan Gymkhana of Pune also tried to lend a sense of reliability and recognition to the games by introducing certain rules and regulations to make it more formal. As a result, countries such as Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka and Maldives also participate in the games. Next, I want to explain about common term in Coco. First, pull. 
especially met with the cyclical construction erected firmly above site of play fight. Second, chaser. The sitting team would try to catch the opponent team members who is running. Chaser sit it square over coast line with an alternative back. Thirdly, runner. The player of opposite who save himself from being catched by the chaser. Fourthly, central lines. Two parallel lines form the pole to others. Five, cross lines. The parallel lines cutting central line at the middle of the playing area. Six, co. The word co is actually a pass given by one chasers to another. Lastly, early catch up. When the sitting chasers catch up before getting a go. Next, I want to explain about rule of the games. First, there are certain rules to follow in the games. Credit a player. Second, each team will have 12 players, but only 9 of them can compete on the pitch. Third, a standard match encompass two innings. Fourth, each inning will have nine minutes which includes chasing and running. Five, the chasing team sits or kneel in the middle of the court in a row. Each player sitting next to each other will see on the opposite side. Six, the chasers should and in the quickest time possible. 7. The chasers will touch the nearest possible player on his or her back and say go to give him a chance to chance. 8. The team that takes the shortest amount of time to touch the player chasers is adjudged as the winner. Now I want to talk about my part, Kerapan Sapi. Kerapan Sapi or bull racing is a special tradition of people in Madura Island. It is a combination of festivals and entertainment. This tradition has attract local and international communities to see the race. Kerapan Sapi was held annually in Madura Island to celebrate the Independence Day of Republic Indonesia. According to the story of local residents, Kerapan Sapi was introduced by Pangeran Katandu from Pulau Sapudi in 13th century. He used kettles for plowing because he felt that less efficient of manpower in agriculture at that time. A pair of kettles with pangono and salange will use by farmer to plow in the field. They call it as asaka. Their working on the field become easier by using a kettle. Besides, they can reap a lot of harvest instead using of manpower. The word of kerapan is comes from kettle race by farmers while menggara or plowing in the field. The word of kerapan also comes from the words kira or kera which means move or to release together. Technically, kerapan sapi means a bull race ridden by jockey. The used cattle in agriculture has attracted a lot of people in Madura to raise a cattle. There are five types of 
kerapan sapi in Madura Island. First is Kerap Kenny Village Stage. <coughs> the race was held in Kecamatan or Kewedanaan, and the participants is comes from that village. The distance of track is 110 meter. Kerap Kenny usually participate by cattle, and the champion will participate in Kerap Raja. Second is Kerap Raja District Stage. The race was held in city, and the distance of track is 120 meter. The participants is among the champion of Kerap Kenny. Third is Kerap Onjangan. This race is very special because it was held only during the special events or Memorial Day in Madura. The participants can either from the from that district or the other district. Next is Kerap Jar Ajaran. This Kerap is similarity with Kerap Keni, but Kerap Keni participate by cattle, while this Kerap participate by bulls. Lastly, is a Kerap Keresidenan or Presidential Cup. This Kerap is the biggest race among the others. It was held in Kota Pemekasan during weekend and it is a closer for Kerapan Fest in Madura Island. The participants among the champion of Kerap Raja. There are five people in each team to prepare their bulls. First is Tukang Tongko, a rider or jockey. Second is Tukang Tambeng, a person who is hold the bulls before release. Third is Tukang Getak, a person who is to scare the bulls. Fourth is Tukang Tonja, a person who is leading and pulling a bull to obey his trainer's will. And finally is Tukang Gubra, a group of supporters. Sepak takraw is one of the branches of the game where the combination of football and volleyball is played in the field of wood and has rule where the ball cannot touch the ground. In this sepak takraw game, it is generally played by two teams where each team consists of three players. However, this one and only sport never been popular with the general public. It is difficult to perform. Uh, and there are still community groups who consider sepak takraw's game as a violent sport. Sepak takraw originated from the Thailand, and the Thailand language is called takraw. The ball used in this game is made of rattan, weaving, and the layers stand in circle. Sepak takraw name is taken from Malay and Thailand language of origin, means. Uh, kick while the word takraw comes from Thailand and means woven ball. The basic technique of takraw game can be done using feet, chest and even the head as long as the ball bounces well. The technique used in the game of takraw how to do it are very similar to those in football. The only difference is the sepak takraw is allowed touch once except when doing dams and blocking. Well, outside of the existing rule, it is violation. Here are some basic techniques we will discuss for you. First, sepak sealer is a way of kicking the ball with the inside leg functioning to receive an attack and save the ball. Second, sepak kuda is the kick that uses the anchor. The function of this technique is to control ball which come low and fast also at the time controlling or mastering attempt to save the ball. 
adapted menapak is one of the technique of kicking the ball with the feet usually used to smash opponent and save the ball near the net. Then, menanduk is a technique in takro to play using the head. Usually, this technique is used to receive first ball from the opponent and save the ball from attacking the opponent. Next, mendada is a way of playing the ball with the chest, usually used to control the ball for later play. Second last, memeha is a way playing the ball with the teeth tight atom to control the ball, receive and even save the ball from attack. The lastly is membahu, is one of the technique of playing takro without the shoulder on the air, where the defense is in separate situation and a bad position. Okay, next we go to the field. The takro field is a rectangular shape. Uh, of 13.4 meters and long 6 meters wide. There is a circle in the middle of the field that is useful for takraw service with 13 cm finger size. A quarter circle is located at each corner of the field which is useful as service speed and has a fingerprint of 19 cm. If the game is done indoor, the minimum height of the axis of our roof rooftop is 8 meters from the ground floor. Four sides of the field must be free uh, from any obstacle, at least 3 meters in length. The net height for the boys player is 1.55 meters at the edge and at least 1.52 meters in the middle. The net height for the girls player is 1.45 meters in at the edge and at least 1.42 meters in the middle. The pole position is 13 cm from the edge. The net is made of rope, yarn and nylon with hole 8 cm diameter. The net length should not exceed 6 m and 70 cm wide. Both the wear mark using a 5 cm ribbon drawn and attached to a pole. The ball has a round shape and is made of rattan or synthetic fiber. The ball weighs uh, 118 grams for boys player and 116 to 4 girl player. This uh, ball is 42 cm for boys and 45 for girls. Player consisting of 9 to 11 woven and has 12 holes. Why we choose this topic? Hmm. We choose this topic because we wanted to share and introduce the traditional Asian sport from other countries to the audience. We usually get used to the traditional sports in Malaysia. Why don't we get acquainted to this sport more closely? What is the impact of the of this video to our life? Well, for starter, it has given us insight on other cultural sport in other countries. In addition, it giving us knowledge that most people do not know. What could be gained? Furthermore, this will be an opportunity for people that want to live more healthier and productive lifestyle to indulge themselves with different kind of sport that pick their interests. Also, this is a phenomenal way to share or advertise unique and interesting sports that other country possesses. It would be beneficial for us as a whole country to involve ourselves with other nation cultural events because not only we gain something new, we could also receive foreign visitors that may be interested in our traditional sport. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.